Hey guys, uh, Mark here. As promised, here is my new racing wheel, which I have just um, had delivered earlier on today. Um, as you can see, this is a uh, Fanatec CSL Elite, and I cannot wait to uh, start using it. Now, this uh, video is going to be uh, an unboxing only, as we mentioned in previous videos. I'll show you what I've bought. Uh, we will do a uh, a review and going through price points, positives, negatives, etc. Once I've had a chance to use the wheel, which is going to be later on this week. With that being said, let's get straight on into the uh, the unboxing. So, um, I purchased this the other day after selling my um, other wheel, and uh, it came from Germany. And it was very, very quick to be delivered. Uh, it was purchased, I believe, on Friday. And here we are now, uh, Tuesday. Uh, and uh, it was delivered uh, earlier on this afternoon, uh, which is fantastic, um, considering uh, it is from Germany. Uh, you do have to pay for postage. Um, obviously, it's a, a huge package. Uh, four packages. Um and uh, yeah, it's quite understandable, uh, but when you pay the amount that you do, it would be nice to have some kind of discount with postage. I see why they don't do it, purely because the amount of technology that goes into this wheel, this is really um, such a great, uh, great wheel, great company, and uh, they make so many extra products as well, which is just gonna enhance the realism uh, and uh, make sim racing uh, so much more fun. So first things first, I'm going to try not to uh, mess too much up. Uh, you get a uh, quick guide on how to set the wheel up. Um, one reason why I'm not doing a gameplay video today is because you need to do a firmware update before you uh, can play. This is done through the Fanatec uh, website. Um, you do need a uh, Windows 10 or Vista uh, to be able to do the update. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, as I have a Mac uh, and uh, yeah, I'm taking it to a friend's house and uh, he will show me how to do it. So inside the packet you get a uh, uh, USB, you twat, you get a main uh, mains uh, adapter, a USB as well. And the European uh, mains plug, uh, which we won't be needing, but still a nice addition for Fanatec to put in. One thing that I absolutely love, uh, we're going to go through it uh, in just a minute actually, but uh, you get these uh, these uh, you get these buttons uh, that you can put on the wheel. So if you've got uh, a PlayStation um, and you don't want the PlayStation buttons on there, or you've got a PC and you don't want the PlayStation buttons on or Xbox buttons, whatever. You can switch them out so you know exactly what's where. Uh, you've got, you know, uh, wipers, um, uh, boost, uh, up and down numbers, and I think that's really good. They're really easy just to take out um, and put the new ones back in. Um, I'm going to show you a bit more uh, of this at the weekend. Um, but yeah, excellent buttons. Uh, you also get an Allen key tool in there as well. Now here's the, uh, what is this, I'll check that in a minute, here's the actual wheel that comes with, so well packaged as well, uh, which is what you'd expect, also comes with the uh, wheel, I've always used like a formula type rim, so uh, this is really really nice um, uh, perforated leather, uh, you can see the blue stitch in there as well, really well made, not fake leather at all. It's got the real feel and smell of real leather. You've also got uh, Alcantara on the bottom. Good job it's not there because it will wear out quicker, especially if you're not wearing gloves. Uh, these are the buttons I told you about earlier. Uh, they can easily be popped out uh, with a blunt knife on its side and it pops out. Um, just be really careful when doing it. Uh, really nice paddle shifters, actually. The paddle shifters have a really nice... Um, Really nice feel to it. Uh, I don't know why they put the up and down. Obviously, if you need to know which one's up and down, you shouldn't be racing. 
Uh, that being said, it's still a great wheel. Uh, you've got brushed aluminium here. Uh, I, I, lo I absolutely love that Alcantara, it's beautiful. Um, you've got display, LED display, uh, which will have the rev lights. Uh, this here will tell you the speed uh, in miles or kilometers. And uh, you can also uh, preset uh, different settings on here. So if you have different buttons for different games, um, you can just save it on here and you can uh, have, I think it's five presets maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good, good wheel. I really like this. I think I'll maybe change it a little bit, maybe turn it into a Porsche wheel, maybe. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, you've got a semi quick release adapter on the back. Uh, so it comes with a semi quick release on the back. And uh, I, I absolutely love this. This is beautiful. It feels so good. Um, I would say that the shifters are a little bit further away than what the Thrustmaster was. So anyone with small hands, I wouldn't say will struggle, but it's a little bit more of a grab. Um, I've also read online a lot of complaints about you know the buttons on the steering wheel being too far away. I don't really see that as being too much of an issue, to be honest. Um, all in all, that is such a beautiful wheel. I absolutely love it. Right, so, yeah, a few more cables. Ah! Here is, uh, I won't get out of the packaging. Uh, I'm not going to be using it. A um, table clamp. Uh, from what I've read online, they're quite sturdy, quite strong. If you're going to be racing at this kind of level with this kind of kit, uh, which, uh, you know, isn't entry level, um, it's uh, quite expensive, uh, you're probably not going to use the table clamp. It's here. That's the wheel base. That's the, uh, the wheel base itself. Uh, you can see the uh, shift lights here which is absolutely brilliant, uh, gives you a visual indicator. You know, companies like Thrustmaster, they don't have this. They have a Bluetooth module, uh, which you can add uh, and clamp it onto a steering wheel. But first of all, no one wants a, uh, a Bluetooth um, shift light that big on top of a steering wheel clamped on. Uh, no one's gonna want that. Uh, it's actually exclusive to PlayStation 4, and they don't even have a PlayStation 4 rim, but it's compatible with, uh, in regards to fitting with, apart from a TSPC racer, which um, is only for PC, up until maybe a week ago when they released compatibility for the PlayStation. That'll sit flush there, that'll clamp onto my play seat, which uh, I will be doing a review on uh, uh, when this is all put together. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. So yeah, absolutely beautiful wheelbase here. Um, I cannot wait. It's such a so well made. It's uh, it really is. It's a thing of beauty. Also, uh, we have uh, a quick release. Uh, you'll see what this is for uh, in a minute. Um, while I'm at it, when I put it all together, I might as well do a video on how to put it together. Uh, that'll go down well because I have no clue on how to do it. Right, pedals. Again, comes in a very well packaged box. Uh, another quick guide. Whoa, sorry, another quick um, guide with some Fanatec stickers. You've got the pedal base. It, it's really well made. It's got like a, a coating on it. Um, it's metal. Uh, the Thrustmaster ones are plastic, uh, so that already is so much better. There we go. There's one pedal. Right. 
one pedal you could take this uh, rubber cover off should you want to. Um, again, the pedals are made from the same material as the uh, bass, and it's just you can just tell how heavy duty they are. Um, absolutely brilliant. Very nice. I mean, Fanatec should get a 10 out of 10 for this. The fact that they've put in a spanner as well. I mean, everyone has spanners, but just in case you don't, Fanatec put them inside, which is uh, really great stuff. And obviously, there's another pedal in here as well, uh, which I wasn't going to get out, but we might as well. Just make sure we don't lose anything. So eventually I'll be getting the uh, load cell uh, brake pedal, um, which is uh, a must, really. Um, a lot of people don't actually go for load, so, uh, load cell pedals, especially if they're going to be entering competitions and stuff like that at racing events, Formula One events, uh, esports events, just because Fanatec will never have the load cell pedals on there. Uh, so in order to train, they won't... Um, they won't have a benefit of having the load cell pedals on there. But you've got here, look at this little, uh, that's the progressive braking, this uh, little spongy uh, stop thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. This is what I really um, wanted a lot. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I have opened this box already, actually. The others I haven't. Uh, but this one I have, just because I really wanted to see it uh, before anyone else did. Uh, but I'm going to unveil the wheel, but this is it. So, this is my McLaren GT3 wheel, um, which will have a display here. Uh, you have rotary encoders here. All fully functioning. Uh, 12 positional here, 12 positional here. This one has uh, five positions, I think. A, B, C, D, four positions it has. Uh, you have, again, the removable buttons. It comes with that uh, in the packaging. Uh, but essentially, uh, this is the wheel, and straight away you can feel such a difference from this to the wheel that I used uh, before, the Thrustmaster wheel. The upshift and downshift was very, you could hear the spring uh, pinging every time you pressed it. You don't hear it on this, beautiful. This is what the quick release hub was for. Um, to put on the back of there, uh, a black metal quick release. Um, you've got anodized uh, sequential paddle shifters here. You have the clutch as well, uh, which is brilliant. Not many wheels, uh, certainly no wheels from Thrustmaster uh, have those. Uh, you have a little turning switch here. As I mentioned, free rotary encode, free rotary encoders. Uh, you've got buttons on either side, up here, and the buttons here are absolutely fantastic. These buttons, just such a positive press. And when you're wearing gloves, that's exactly what you need. Just something to confirm that you have pressed the button. It's got a really nice carbon fiber finish. Um, and uh, yeah, apparently it's a one-on-one -on -one replica of the McLaren GT freewheel. Um, it is just so beautiful and uh, I can't wait to start playing with it. You have a tool uh, to uh, do things with. There you go. Yeah, like an Allen key, uh, which is for uh, doing the quick release, uh, I'd imagine. Um, Again, nice that we've added that in. Uh, the wheel itself is the most beautiful wheel I've ever seen. Uh, it's got a good weight to it as well. A 
it's not too heavy, it's not too light, but it certainly feels rigid. Um, the paddles are push pull, but they're impossible to without slicing your fingers off. But you don't need that. You've got up and down, you've got your clutches, and uh, yeah, this wheel is brilliant. Um, this is currently uh, on the Fanatec website a little bit cheaper than it normally is. I think it's 229 euros uh, or 220 euros at the moment, just that wheel. Um, but while it was on offer, I thought uh, I had to get it, so I got it. And uh, I hope you guys agree that I have made a good decision. Um, I'm still waiting. I know I keep saying this. I know I know I keep saying it, but I'm still waiting for. Uh, I'm fucking unprofessional. I know I keep saying this, uh, but I'm still waiting for camera equipment to arrive. Um, consider this literally an unboxing. This weekend we're going to be doing a review of the wheel. We're going to have some gameplay footage. I'll go through the pros, the negatives, the price point. I will also be comparing it to the T300, which I've sold. I love that wheel, great wheel, and uh, I'll be comparing it to that, uh, especially when you look at the prices as well. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if anyone is considering getting a Fanatec, would I recommend them? From what I've seen so far, yes. Uh, absolutely great service. I've still got something else coming. Probably in about maybe a week or so, and that's going to be pretty cool. So keep tuned for a review on that. It's going to be awesome. Um, it's quite big. It's from a company called Sim Racing Hardware. They're not actually on social media, but um, anyone who's interested in anything, whether it be console racing uh, or PC, uh, head over to Sim Racing Hardware because a few years ago you can get anything if it was a console, only if it was a PC. Now that's not the case. And uh, maybe take a guess at what I've bought. Um, but yeah, please like, comment and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. Please keep supporting the channel. I say it every time. And, you know, for the guys that I have got subscribed, guys and girls, you are supporting me so much. And thank you. I can't thank you enough. Um, stay tuned for my next video.